<laughs> and so now, now I'm in the hot seat. Yes, yes. How, do you, how do you do, Ward? So, uh, Ward, in, in 2001, you wrote a book called The Wiki Way, The, yeah. the History of Everything Wiki. Uh, when, you, when you wrote that book, what kind of finality did you see in the wiki concept and what has grown from the wiki since then? Well, well, you know, that was funny uh, uh, in that, you know, I thought I'd made a great thing and everybody would want a copy of it. And it turns out everybody just wanted to write their own. In fact, it was probably a one week into having that thing up and a friend wrote me and said, well, this is just too cool. I had to stay up all night long and write my own. And, and the, there was something magical about defining a markup. And I say, well, if everybody has a different markup, it's going to be chaos. But everybody wanted their own markup. And so uh, Bo Luf and I, uh, who, who uh, Bo Luf was a primary author, but we talked about what really needed to be said. And it was really about how to make a wiki and how to make it suit your community instead of my wiki is cool and you should do what I do. And that was that was a good turning point. And it was pretty clear that it was becoming that. Uh, that was before uh, the, the uh, encyclopedia people got a hold of it. And uh, they had a pretty good model of what an encyclopedia was. So they didn't have to go too far, uh, but they have made a new, you know, well, they've told me what they changed from my wiki and why it was important. And that's, a, that's an interesting story in its own right. Tell, tell me some more about that. So uh, you you made the first wiki, uh, 19, 1995. Yeah. What was the state of the internet like then? And to what extent did people see the internet as something interactive when you established this wiki? I, I think uh, there was very, you know, there's a lot of explore, uh, uh, experimentation. It was filled with computer geeks because they already had computer accounts. And there was a lot of experimentations. I remember some map stuff that was done. I said, wow, they could get a map on here. And it was like lines, <laughs> you know, it was not anything like maps we know today. But uh, user generated content was yet to become something that people thought about. So it was really pioneering and user generated. Uh, uh, I think that I was successful because it was easy to find a community that wanted it to be successful. I, you know, in computer programmers, I made it simpler than it really probably should have been because I knew if I tried to engineer it too much, they would find fault with it. If I made it so simple, they could look at it and say, well, Ward didn't try very hard at this, but I can figure out how to work it. <laughs> that, was the, that was the response, I thought. There's this rule that says that uh, uh, for complex systems, if you have complex rule, you'll get simple behavior. And if you have simple rules, you'll get complex behavior. And I definitely, uh, definitely more of the latter than the former. But the, uh, the, the, the things that I most admired right out of the bat was uh, the notion of a talk page, that you wanted to talk on Wiki, but not everybody wanted to read your babbling. And so a lot of what I did is edit pages to move the talk down to the bottom and move the stuff up to the top. And the fact that people could just do that with talk pages was, uh, was pretty eventful. I was also told that my crazy way of making links by jumbling words together, that they had used that for a while. And as soon as they put the square brackets in and let you use an encyclopedic title for a page, that that's when it took off, you know, that I had stumped or stunted their growth with my crazy way of making links. And I've since, you know, abandoned that myself. So are you saying that, uh, so you're talking about the camel case versus yeah. the brackets for the links. So you're, you're saying that that kind of markup actually changed the behavior and the way that people responded to the wiki? Well, you know, when we were talking about computer things, everything could have a computer name that was kind of quirky. But when you're talking about, you know, you know, the kings and queens of England, you want to spell them right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, so, so uh, uh, introducing a markup that uh, it was easy to make a link and have the link read properly was important. And, you know, I mean, now we're so familiar with a double square bracket that it's hard to imagine that there was wikis without them unless you kind of come over to my turf and, and see this crazy spelling. 
No, if, if I understand you correctly, it makes sense. In the mid 90s, the first people who would come to the wiki would be computer and tech oriented people. Can you say more about the transition into general internet users in the wiki? When did non-computer people first engage with the wiki that you saw? Uh, you know, we, we had a couple of camps in, in our, you know, I mean, we were about the transition from big data centers in, you know, behind glass walls, one computer per corporation to desktop computing. And that was, that was a very uh, substantial uh, conversion. And a lot of people were interested in, in, you know, well, the whole notion of, of actually knowing who's going to use it and caring what they think was was new at the time. So we, we, it was really what we were talking about is how does it feel? Not not you know it wasn't mathematical. It was more emotional and, and how to keep people happy and trusting in what the work you're doing. So a lot of the conversation was about that. But the the uh, uh, well we we had you know we you have to have kind of a focus otherwise people will say anything and 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 I said well don't tell us what we ought to do when writing computer programs. Tell us what you did and how it worked. And that was our uh, uh, accountability. And, and uh, if somebody was speculating, we would just say, well, this is speculation and, 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 uh, and say, well, how did it actually work? Or have you done this? Uh, yeah, this, we, we didn't, there weren't so many citations because we were actually kind of pioneering something at the time. Uh, but it, uh, that that uh, we might call it a ground truth uh, really helped it work. Uh, you know, it, an interesting thing, it, it ran for almost 20 years and uh, it became less and less important because that focus was less and less relevant as more and more people just, you know, that's what computer programming was to them. Whereas, whereas Wikipedia, I say Wikipedia is about all of history right up to the moment. And, and you know, it, it's, uh, it's always going to evolve. There's always going to be a need for new author. There's always going to be a subject that's important. And, and uh, so it, it's going to live and grow for a long time and remain important to the world. You've mentioned several values and ethics. You said that people should trust in it. You've said that people should uh, have simple rules that they can use to express complex behaviors. Uh, to what extent were those kind of decisions arbitrary and things that you wanted to set in the culture? And to, to what extent do you think those were things that just evolved out of the, the community and perhaps weren't planned by you? Uh, I would say that uh, uh, I had a notion of how things should work. Cause I had done this experiment with HyperCard in my own company where I could watch people interact with and I knew what excited them. So I wanted to have that feeling. And, you know, in day two of operating it when I had five people who were just authoring I could tell that I had that. So I had this feeling of, and part of it was that you could switch from reading to writing as easily as clicking a button. Because before that, you'd have to like, oh, I have to go to a different computer or a different part of the computer, run a different program to be able to author hypertext. And, and doing it in place was, was important. I, I picked that up from, uh, from uh, the, uh, the, the hypercard. Other than that, I think people made it what it is. And when people were trying to tell me how brilliant I was for making this wiki, I said, well, no, 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 no. I, I, the, my community is brilliant. And, and the fact that people cared about it and wanted it to be good and devised mechanisms to use what little I had done for them uh, uh, was, was uh, you know, it was their creation. And, and I still think that, uh, you know, Wikipedia started five years after that, but they were doing a different thing and they had to learn how to do that. And I'm astounded at how good how, how repeatable, how confident you can be that you'll get what you expect at Wikipedia comes from the community deciding what you should get when you go to Wikipedia. And, and the mechanisms, 
I know that there is this curly bracket thing that can be a little scary right off the bat, but all those curly brackets is how that uniformity got built. And I have a lot of respect for that. All right, 